But um, what we're going to do today is some boxing stuff called stick and move. So we're not going to focus a lot on basics. We're not going to be doing a lot of the cover and parries and things like that. I want to show you essentially some footwork that helps you create distance and angles and alignment um, that, that really make the stick and move work. Because a lot of people are saying stick and move and they don't know how to move. Okay. So first thing I want you guys to do is spread out. Give yourself a little bit of room. And uh, I want to talk about two types of stances. Okay. I want you to put your feet out wider than shoulder width. Okay. There's two stances we're going to work with. Is what I call the three by three and a three by five. One's a Muay Thai stance, one's a boxing stance. I never want to tell you guys, just do what I say. I want you to know why we do what we do, right? Because you might be able to apply it somewhere else. But right from here, walk in place. Look how much your head moves side to side. Okay? So if I'm a karate guy and I'm trying to kick, a Muay Thai guy, right, I can tell that that guy's gonna kick because he's gonna counterbalance. Right? I can even tell how high he's going to kick by how far he counterbalances. Okay? Meanwhile, if I bring your feet in here, shoulder width, okay? walk in place. Right? Matt, can I use you for a second? So now if I'm doing this, see how little my head moves? Now my low kick looks the same as my middle kick, looks the same as my high kick. Right? It doesn't show so much. Thanks. It was just that. Okay? Now, so, that, so if you were doing a kicking art, you want that, this is going to be the three by three. You'll, this is, what's the measurement of one? Is your head. So I have my head, my head, my head. That's a three, okay? Come back out wide, wide here, okay? Well, I'm sorry, come back to here. Move your head like you're dodging punches. This is how far you can move, right? If I start going past my feet, I'm off balance. Now come out wide. Now move your head. See how much farther you can go? Yeah? So if I have my Muay Thai stance, I can kick, but I can't get good head movement. So your Muay Thai, Muay Thai stance is three this way, three this way. Your boxing stance is a three by five. It's a little longer, okay? I also don't want your feet in a line. I see some people teaching this as a boxing stance, okay? And there's reasons to do things. We're gonna talk about meat geometry. This is my longest punch, okay? If the camera was above my head, and I do this, where's my punch longest? Right there. Also, I'll use you again, Matt. Just stand up straight. Where would my punch be farthest? Right here. Right? If I punch any lower or any higher, I lose distance. Same thing when we're doing karate and we're punching in the center. Okay? This would be a longer punch. I actually lost a little bit of distance with that. Right? We're going to be working a lot with that today. I call it meat geometry how to line it up that you're making the most of your reach or taking his away, all right? So thanks. So have that. Don't be in a line. This might be my long punch, okay? But here's the thing. You can't throw this hand, okay? And you can only make him miss this way. I can only make him miss in distance. If I have one, two, three, and five, I can make him miss in distance and alignment. See how I can go on either side of the line? If your feet are here, you can't go on either side of the line very well. Does that make sense? Okay. So now let's do left foot forward. And I want you to do this. This is some footwork we're going to be doing here. I want you to go forward, backward, left, right, and quarter spin. Okay. For that quarter spin, I want you to think the bull's charging at you and you're letting him by. Okay. Try that. Forward, backward, left, right, quarter spin. Okay? Do that a little bit, and I'm going to work some details with it. Go ahead. Keep running it. Yeah? Yeah, you guys can stagger and spread out a little bit. Yeah. Good. So first thing I want you to do, I see some people crossing your feet. If I go forward... I, go, I move my front leg. If I move backwards, back leg goes first. If you're going to your left, don't move your right. Move your left. You're going to your right, move your right. Okay. Now a little detail on the movement. Okay, because there's two ways to move. There's what we call the penguin and a drop step. So uh, I'm going to use you, Jan. 
I want you to do this. I know you can't reach, but I want you to jump up and touch the ceiling for me. Okay? Where did I tell her to go? Where did I tell her to go? It's, it's not a trick question. Up. Uh, where did she go? Jump again. Where did she go first? She loaded. Okay? So here's what happens when a lot of people move, and this is one of the details that's costing you time to get out of the way or to get at somebody. When people want to go this way, they usually go this way first because they want to free the weight off this leg. So what do they do? You counterbalance. You counterbalance, right? When somebody wants to go forward, they usually do this first. When you want to go backwards and you're needing to get out of the way quick, what most people do is put their face in the way first, okay? We can use that, we call it the penguin, right? That's kind of why we call it the penguin. But what I want you to try to get is a, a, a drive, somewhat of a drop step, that when you pick this up, you push. You pick the back one up, you push. You go to the side, you push. Try not to do the counterbalance, okay? Give it a try. So when I have this, this is a good little footwork drill for you to do. So everybody come out, give yourself a little bit of room. I'm gonna call this, you can watch the video later, you can take a picture of the board. Hands up, I want you to go forward, forward. Now I want you to go forward, back. Forward to the left, forward to the right, forward and quarter spin. Okay, reset yourself, face this way, don't go back, face this way, don't go back. Because now we're going to start, we're going back. You're going to go backward then forward. Backward then backward. Backward then left, backward and right, backward and quarter spin. Yeah, and you guys ran into stuff and we're going to solve that problem later too, okay? Now we're going to start, we're going to the right. Go to the right and then go forward. Right and then backward. Right and then left. Right and right. Right and quarter spin. Okay, face this way, I reset every time. Now we're going to start with the quarter spin. Quarter spin forward. Quarter spin backward. Quarter spin left. Quarter spin right. Quarter spin, quarter spin. Okay, so this is a good little drill to do uh, on your own. Sometimes in class we'll do this for a whole round, right? We'll jump rope for two or three rounds and I'll say, okay, footwork for a round, all right? So uh, the, I want you to take this forward footwork and we're gonna, this is the next piece we're doing here. I want you to go, that, well, let's talk about our hands, where, where I want your hands. There's lots of different boxing stances. There's like nine basic boxing stances. And then, um, and there's different guards. Right, you'll see Philly shell, you see all these different guards. Right now I want you guys, think about this, because I want this to be for self-defense too. Put my hands up like this. Around the world, regardless of language, what's this mean? Fight. We're fighting. I'm going to punch you in the face. Around the world, regardless of language, what's this mean? Don't I don't want to fight. Okay, and I'm also pretty open here. So Dan, can I use you for a second? If I'm standing kind of in a boxing stance here, can he reach me and punch me in the face between my hands? Yeah, how about your other hand? Can you punch me in the face around my hands? Yeah, how about the other hand? So he can hit me anywhere. But this is considered a pretty good boxing guard. If I do this, can you punch me in the face between my hands? Yeah, other hand? Easy, right? How about a round? No. Okay? So it's almost like thinking like you're fighting multiple opponents that I would step into a doorway. Okay? Plus I know He's going to punch between my hands. Go. I see him move. I block. The other hand comes. Right? I don't even have to. I can already decide which hand I'm going to block with. Okay? I don't have to go, oh, which one is that, and make a decision when things are going fast. Okay? So one of the ways to make your speed faster is to make a pre-decision. Okay? So I want your hands kind of up in that neutral position. You can be here, but think about you know, having your hands open. Okay? And I want you to go diagonally. Step, 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 step. Take that diagonal. Yep, face the wall. So use the lines on the floor. So here's what you did. You're going straight in and straight out. I want you to go diagonal and diagonal back. Yep. Yeah, and try to keep your stance, right? So I want you to go this diagonal. 
If you, because you got your feet switched, yeah, right? So, okay, but I don't want, so even when you went that way, you looked that way. So guys, here's, here's what I want, here's why I want this. Uh, I, want you, I want you to face that way for a second. I want you guys to watch him right here, okay? So face this way, I'm, I'm sorry, what's your first name? Jay. Jay. So hands up. If I step straight at Jay, did I get out of the way? No. Nope. I came straight at him, okay? But now I want you guys to watch where I told you to watch. If I step over here, did I get out of the way? Mm -hmm. What did I tell you guys to watch? His eyes. Is he looking at me? Am I going to hit him with an eyeball? <laughs> he just took his eyes off my punch. Okay? So two reasons I, few, three reasons I don't step straight in. One, I didn't get off the line. Okay? When I step over here, chances are he's going to follow me with his eyes. It also gives me a good meat geometry. Right now, chin to chin to center line. My shoulder's in that center line now, right? What's at the end of my shoulder? Right? So it gives me that good, boom, meat geometry for that shot. And uh, I'll tell you something else. Ladies, the fact that I pointed that out, you're already half untrained from never doing that. Guys are never untrained from doing that. And here's why. Step up to me like you're being a bully. What's the other guy do? Oh, you didn't notice I was puffy and psycho too, did you? When you're sitting there? <laughs> right? Right? They, all, right? they do this, and somebody gets too close, they're like, don't get too close. Yeah. And the other guy's like, don't push me. And then there's the other, right? And there's, like, there's like the three push minimum. Yeah. And then we start throwing hands, right? Yeah. Everybody's laughing because you've all seen it. You've seen it in hockey, right? Yeah. Okay. So I want you to take this angle just because of that. Okay? You're, you're offensive by intent, defensive by design. And I have deception on the board. This is one of the deceptions. That I get him to follow me with my eyes, with his eyes. I'm not going to hit him with an eyeball. I've always hated that expression. People are like, when you fight, look him right in the eyes. I'm like, I've been doing this for a while, and I've never been hit by an eye. <laughs> you know? But you get tracked up in those eyes, and uh, you can get caught. But karate moms, kids do kata. What's the first thing to hit somebody in a fight? What's the first thing to hit somebody in a fight, karate moms? <laughs> You're right. Your eyeballs. Your eyeball. And what do we call it? We call it the mom look. Right? But that happens far away. You know, like you think of that Bruce Lee movie, like when he's looking like, like don't even think about it, right? He's, he's got the perfect look for the movie, like, boom, don't. Just don't. Okay? But once you're up in close, that mom look, get rid of it. Right? I use my eyes to get him to look at me just to take his eyes off the target. So practice stepping off to that diagonal. Yep. Bring your back foot with you. Don't do this. Don't leave this here. Okay? Bring your leg. Yeah. Yeah. So you're, you're moving diagonal, but you're looking this way. Start here on the black-blue line. One foot black, one foot blue. Face, nope, facing me. Get one foot in the black. Nope, facing me. Square up with me. See how I'm even? Yeah. Move, get even. Right? Hands up. Stay looking at me, but move this way. No, nope, you're looking that way. You need to look this way and go that way. Look this way, step that way, go. No, nope, don't look that way. Look at me. Mm, face me, right? I don't want to do this, watch me. I don't want to change and fight that guy. Look at me. I want to fight this guy. Right? right? So, here's another thing, freeze. See how, put your hands up. See how where your hands are? I can easily see your hands in your face. When I do this, right, one of the reasons I like Philly Shell you kind of got to choose which hand you're going to look at, right? right? Right, so even keeping them a little wider, right? Another thing, when I throw my hands, some of my deceptions are, you know, people talk about punching them in the chin. I don't always punch them in the chin. Sometimes I throw my hand right here. Why? Because he can't see. And this is one of those times where we talk about the penguin versus the drop step, right? That I might drop step on this, or I do the penguin. When I do the penguin, which way does it look like I'm moving? Right, I stepped this way, right, so hands up, and I went. Yeah. The last thing he saw was me go that way. Yeah. Boom. Next thing he sees yeah. is I'm on the other side. Yeah. Right? Another thing with the penguin is, is you get the load. Uh, everybody, uh, throw, throw an imaginary shot put for me. Anybody ever throw a shot put? Because you don't throw it like a baseball. Right? When you watch sprinters, right, there's a line. There's a line here when you're sprinting. There's a line here when you're sprinting. You want that same power line 
you're throwing a javelin, what's it look like I'm doing? The javelin or the shot put, okay? But you want this, okay? And that penguin, that gives me this. When I throw this one, am I loaded on the next side? Yeah. yeah. So I go from load to load to load, okay? It's going to be power, power, right? And I'm offensive by intent, defensive by design. I don't want to stay here throwing punches because he's going to fire back. I'm moving. My move is part of my defense. My move is part of my defense and my power. My move is part of my defense and my power. Ready to block this one? <laughs> right? I want it to be that fast because when you're loaded, you can go. And here's what I mean. Everybody take this stance like you were fighting. So most people do this. This is their lead. Okay? Now I want you to think you guys are going to sprint to the wall. How are you going to stand? How are you going to stand if we were going to sprint to the wall? You squared up. If I'm here, I'm not truly loaded. If I'm here, I'm squared up. And most people think, oh, this guy squared him. Like he don't know what he's doing. If I'm square, I'm loaded. Right? I can take, <laughs> I can take that. I'm sprinting through his face with punches. <laughs> Right? <laughs> he knows. Matt fought Rocky Marciano tournament two years in a row, right? And so uh, we were talking about him earlier, okay? So take this diagonal. Bang, bang. Now put your one-two on it. So you can take a true drop step. Bang, bang. Or if you're doing that penguin, bang. Yeah. And I don't expect you guys to get this today. Today won't be a big workout. But you'll have a lot of stuff to go home and practice with, right? Because people are asking, like, well, you know, he's like, I'm kind of sick. I don't know how much of a workout will it be. It's not going to be a workout. It's going to be a think out. OK, good. All right, let's do this. Let's have everybody come down this end. Yeah? And give me two lines. One line maybe right here. Yeah? And one line like right here. No, all the way, come all the way off the mat. Bam, 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 bam. So Matt, I'll put you here. And you can be here. So one line with him. One line with him. Split it up. Yeah? And what I want you to face this way, I want you to keep your toe on that line. Okay? And move. All the way down. Skate. No, you can go that way. That's fine. Yeah, you got the other stance. Yeah, skate all the way down. Yeah. Try to get, have a lead. Have a lead. Have a stance. I don't care what stance, but have a lead. Right? This is a good one to do. I take the guys out in the basketball court because we're going to go forward, backwards, you know, sideways, circles. Now, keep your same lead. Okay? I'm going to my close side. Now, I'm going to my open side. Right? So you should have your same lead you had before. Yep. No, you had your switch your feet. You had your other foot forward. Whatever foot you had forward, I want you to keep that one. I was the other way. I'm left-handed. Were you? Okay, I thought you were going. Uh, so that's righty. Okay. Right, but either way, keep your same lead and go. Not too much. Yep. Uh. Yeah. This way's hard. Uh. We're going to fix it. Yeah. Skate, skate, skate. Right. I want you to have that Ali float thing. Okay? Okay? That's just going in a straight line. Now I want you to zigzag. So what we're going to do is you're going to angle in, but you're going to come straight back. Angle in, straight back. Go. Uh, not for you, because you have the switched. You're going to go straight in. Or you can, okay, go that way. Yep. If you're left lead, it needs to be something different. Yeah, try to cross the line and come back. Cross the line and come back. Yeah, so use the line. Put your toe right up to the line. Come across the line diagonally and then come straight back. Yep. Cross the line diagonally, straight back. This is called the sawtooth. Cool thing about this is the shape of the tooth isn't going to change. Yep. And it's something for you to work on, right? You don't have to get good at it today. You have to learn it to be able to practice it on another day. So if you guys take a picture of the board later, 
This is your sawtooth, okay? And now when you come back, so this is my closed side. I angled in and I went straight back. Now I want you to come straight in and angle out. Okay, go ahead. Yep, yeah, yeah, straight, so straight in. Straight in ang nope, angle out that way. way. Yep, straight in, angle out. Straight in, angle out. Like I said, it's great going down to football, uh, basketball court because there's all the lines. Because we learn how to do this, then we learn how to go in circles. We're going to do a lot of stuff on the bag today, not for power, but for footwork. I have to double up on some bags here, but that's okay. Okay, cool. Now, I want you to grab a bag, and we might have to double up on a bag. I think we've got more than eight people. Go ahead, grab a bag. Yep, quick, quick, grab a bag. Uh, probably not. Okay, and that other one, you can raise that up. Right? <coughs> Okay, yeah, there's another bag over here. Everybody, yeah, you guys can double up on bags. So how many people we got? One, two, three, four, five, six, nine. So you're only gonna need one double, right? But what I want you guys to do now, left foot forward, just like we went to the left, only now you're circling, okay? Go ahead. Circle the bag, try not to cross your feet. Try not to go backwards. So that's why you're kind of going backwards. That, that's all right. So, and Muhammad Ali used to literally run backwards. We'll talk about that. We're going to show Ali's jab and why he did it. Okay, now I want you to go to your right. Keep the same foot. Don't switch your feet because it's going to change things later. Yeah. Yeah. You don't have to be graceful today. So I want you to be able to circle left and circle right. Okay, time, catch your breath. Now I want you to, don't hit the bags for power, because we're not worrying about power today, we're worried about timing your footwork with your hands. But one of the things that's really important about your footwork with your hands is you can get power off your footwork. There's a lot of, you'll see guys on the bag and they're just planting their feet and swinging and twisting. That's great, but Matt, can I use you for a second? There's something called, you just stand straight, one of the powers we do is called jousting, right? That I'm just, that I have a certain amount of power just walking at them, okay? Don't lose that power. Don't come in here and go, oh, hit them with your, see I'm hitting them with my weight, right? You know that, when I say jousting, we're talking about the knight with the lance. He doesn't go, bruh, bruh, get up close and go, yeah, right? That, just that lance going on its own, right? Boom! There's power just in my stance. I didn't rotate my hips at all. Okay? But I want you to go to your left, tap, tap. Watch, I'm hitting while I'm like in the air. Tap, 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 tap. Go ahead, just tap it. All right, go towards your lead, go towards your lead, go towards your lead. The other way? Yep. Well, uh, I don't care which lead you have, so but I want you to go towards your lead because it's going to feel different. Okay, time. That feels pretty, pretty easy for most of you, right? Okay, now I'm going to screw you up. I want you to go the other way. So I want you to, so this is your close side. This is your lead. I want you to go towards this leg. You were going towards this one. Now I want you to go towards your open side. It's going to feel like crap for most of you, and we're going to fix it. Okay, go ahead. Same fist. Same fist, same stance. But now it feels bad, right? right? You almost fell down, right? <laughs> okay, everybody think it feels bad? Yeah. Right, because here's the deal. I want you to know why we do everything we do, so I want you to feel the wrong way, okay? Watch what I'm gonna, so that's like your worst jab. I'm gonna make it your best one. Because everybody's doing this. They're like, well, do I step and punch or do I, right? There are all these things. 
Watch what I do. See how I open up? Square. Watch this leg. I'm going to twist my hips. Boom. Square up. Boom. Square up. Boom. Square up. This does a lot of things. This gives me a really powerful jab because it's almost half of a cross. I have one leg in the air, so all my weight's on him. Okay? And where chin to chin is on the center line. What's on the center line now? My shoulder. What's at the end of your shoulder? That's something I want you to think about. When you're punching, I want your head off the line, your shoulder in the line. When I'm punching, my head's off the line, my shoulder's in the line. So right now we're doing this drop, this side drop step. Boom. Boom. I don't care about power, but you'll feel there's power there. Right? It's one of my favorite shots because if that guy comes charging at me, he's charging. Boom! I can leave him a big present. Okay? And I got offline. Okay, go ahead. Yeah. So literally, look at my hips. Bing. Right, take your toe. Ready? Bing. Yeah, take it that far. Really throw your left hip into it. There you go. Yeah, fix the <laughs> Yeah, we gotta fix that ballast. Okay. So watch how far I turn my hip out. Bing. Turn it that far. Yeah, so even I don't even put that, I'll have my heel up. So guys, watch. Keep your heel up, okay? Because this gives you a really good drop step, and then later I have something called progressive traction. I'm still going. If you do this, well now you're planted, you're ready for the next thing, but when I'm here, I have that progressive traction. I, I'm still going, okay? There you go. Yeah. Oh, sorry. Yeah. So left foot forward. Yeah. Right? Yeah. So ready? So come on. Come. Nope. It's, it almost feels like a switch. So ready? You're going to go with me. We're going to do this. Turn your hip out. Step up. Turn your hip out. Step up. Now we just put the punch on that. Turn your hip out. Step up. Turn your hip out. Step up. Okay. Catch your breath. Feels a little better? We're gonna move your bag out a little bit so you don't run into them, okay? Now, I want you to go back towards your lead with the jab cross. Bing, 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 bing. See how my feet are with this? There's somebody literally out there teaching. Hold up, hold up, hold up. Because there's like three different ways you can do your cross, right? You can drive this foot back like somebody's charging at you, boom. And that's kind of like the karate way of doing it, right? There's a boxing way where I twist this foot. And then there's one where I'm doing this. My foot's in the air. I want all this. So there's a stance nobody's teaching. I think it's the most important stance. I call it the us stance, OK? Hold out your strongest punch. Hold it out. Hold out your strongest punch, OK? Is there any weight on it? Force is what? Mass times acceleration. Put all your weight on this leg. Right? That's what I want. Right? Uh, when I'm hitting him, I'm, hands down, I'm hitting him even with the weight of that back leg. But there's somebody out there literally teaching one, two, three. I'm like, you gotta be kidding. That there's a whole, you see the time gap? Don't wait for that foot to plant. Okay? I'm hitting him in the air. I'm hitting him in the air. Right? All of your weight. So when I say the us stance, he needs to be part of my stance, right? If force is mass times acceleration. If I have, per don't hit yet. If I have perfect balance, well then my mass is here. I want, right? How many people saw the counter pressure punch? Right, I won't do it hard, right? But if I just stand square, if I do this to him, what happens? He goes back. If I do this to him, what happens? Nothing. So I can only punch him so hard this way before he goes back, okay? If I punch him down and I'm using this, right? I mean, those are, he right, those are heavy, right? But he's literally holding me up, okay? I'll give you an, uh, another example. Put your back against the wall. I will argue with people. People say you can't knock people out with a jab. That is a lie. Well, I've done it. <coughs> We've got it on video. Um, but that the cross is your strongest punch. It's not. The, the, the biggest knockout in boxing is the hook. Okay? But I will argue that the jab is stronger than the cross. Okay? 
because how hard of a push can you get with this cross is not as good as this push. So if I'm here, right, technically all my, and you hear them, oh, all my weight's on them, right? Not really, some of it's in the ground. Watch, I bend, I tuck, and I do, <clears throat> you hear that? Right, can I use you for a minute? Because he's a strong guy. I don't know about you anymore. He used to be, okay? <laughs> so I want you to say the ABCs for me. A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J. That's just my structure and weight. Imagine <laughs> putting that onto that structure and that weight transference, right? That's when your hand disappears and that solar plexus and you get the reaction you wanted, right? Okay, so. Not anymore. <laughs> <laughs> right, so we're here, right? Hands up, I mean, we're both fighting each other. Yeah. But if you're out here going, here's what, here's what a lot of fights look like, ready? You lean back so I can't hit you, and you lean back so I can't hit you, I can't mean, lean back. How many fights you see on Facebook look like that? All of them. Yeah. You gotta commit. You gotta commit to something. And we're gonna be committed and we'll be protected, but also, another seminar we're going to do later is uh, we do something called constructive and destructive blocking where we're out here so that's how you hold this punch out I can't reach him but I can do this I can get behind him hands up I can do this right I can hit here I can hit here when he's throwing punches I can I can destroy his hand right so that's a whole nother seminar okay but right now I want you to practice going towards your lead one two one, two, one, two. Go ahead. There you go. Try not to lean. Boxers get away with leaning because they're not kicking. But if I see that lean, I'm thinking uppercut. So I'll try not to, you weren't doing it, but other, some people were, were doing it. Try not to lean. Okay, time. Feels pretty good, right? Now I'm gonna mess it up. Now I want you to go to your right, or to your open side, right? When I say, if all you lefties, every time I say right, you just do it backwards, okay? So we had this jab. Now I want you to try to do that jab with a cross. It's not gonna feel good, we're gonna fix it. Go ahead. Feels just wrong, right? It just feels wrong, okay? <laughs> Yeah, it's okay, we're gonna fix it. Okay, time. I only wanted you to do that enough to feel that it feels bad. Everybody, that feels bad, right? Because I can get, you can get power, because I can be here, and I can do the same thing back, okay? But it's two big moves, right? And there, there's too much of a time gap there. And I was just here, the last thing I wanna do is move right back into that line of fire. We're gonna do something called boom, tap, boom. Ready? I'm gonna go boom, tap, boom. Watch, I step out, boom. Now I need to get a time filler, a gap filler. I'm just gonna circle my arm here for now, right? But watch what I do. I step up, boom, tap. So tap should be with a step. So I got boom, tap, boom. Boom, tap, boom. Boom, sorry, this should be your jab. Boom, tap, boom. Boom, tap, boom. Right, so my switching jab, boom. I, I come up, right? Boom, boom, tap, boom. Boom, tap, boom. Boom, tap, boom. Go ahead. This is gonna be, you're gonna have trouble with this, it's okay. You don't have to fight Mike Tyson today. That's next week. <laughs> yeah. So power, gap filler, power. Power, gap filler, power. Yeah, you're getting it. Just step off with that first jab. Yeah, so ready? I'm gonna get in. Ready? We're gonna step off with this first jab. Ready? I want you to go with me. Boom. Step off, see how I turned? Yeah. Turn more. Step, so you turned, but you stayed here. Get offline. Bing. So face me, face me. 
my shoulder, we're in center line. Boom! My shoulder's off center line. So guys, time out for a second. Just uh, just show you time out. So something, time out. Okay. Something he was doing, right, hands up, was he was coming here. This is actually a different jab later on. We call it corner jab, okay? We won't do that one today. I want you off line. Chin to chin is on the center line. Bing. So let's say his hands are up, right? Bing. Let's say he blocks that. Bing. Tap. Boom. It's one of the things I'm doing with that, right? I'm going boom, tap, boom, right? Maybe I catch him. He throws this punch. Boom. Maybe my tap is this, right? Boom. But it's a gap filler. It can be, you can guard with this. Boom, tap. It could be his hands, right? Maybe I hit him. Boom, tap, boom. It's that little bit of off balance, that little bit of trap, right? People say trapping don't work. Okay. Let's, let's trap, right? I'm off the line. Boom. Tap. Boom. Go ahead. Boom, tap, boom. Boom, tap, boom. There you go. It's all right. So you ever do the speed bag? No. I want you to think of this like the speed bag. So I'm going to try to go your way. Let me get, a, let me get ahead of you here. So ready? So we're going to go. No, nope, ready? My, there's the center line. Here's yeah. my hands off the center line. Boom. OK. Tap. Square up to them. So look how I did my yeah, you put here. It for, put it. Tap. And look how protected I am here. Yeah. When I'm doing that tap, I'm protected. Tap. And now I'm loaded. Whap. So boom, get off the line. Boom. Tap. Boom. No, oh, let the other foot go. Oh, the other one? Yeah. Boom. Tap. Boom. There you go. It's all right. Like I said, you don't have to get good at this today, but it gives you something when you're at the gym and you're hitting the bag. What are you practicing? Punching. All right, well, let's punch a little better. Okay, time. So that even if you can't do it, it kind of makes sense, right? And one of the other things we want to do here, we talk about me geometry. Something that's on the board is outgun versus outranged, okay? So years ago, when I first learned this in boxing, uh, we call it one, two, drop, step, two. Hands up. It was one, two, drop, step, two. Okay, and I'm like, okay, well, why are we doing that? Well, because it's, it's a good thing to do. Why is it good? Because you just do it! And I'm like, I want to know why things work. And here's why they work. When I get over here before him, I can hit him with two hands. He can't really hit me with that hand. Right? I've eclipsed it. Okay? So I have him outgunned. Okay? I want you to try to do this. Leave this foot right here. Step away from me with, nope exactly away from me with your other leg. Right there. Freeze. So hold your hand out. Hold your punch out. He hit, remember we said the longest punch? See this T? You want to create this T with people. Okay? He, ha he has the capital T. He has me outranged. If I'm over here, I want to have the lowercase T because I have him outgunned. Does that make sense? So one of the reasons I'm doing that boom, tap, boom, I want to go away from that power. So let's say he throws this punch. Boom. I'm out of the way, clear. He can only hit me with this one hand, and I got it. Pop, I get a free shot. OK? So now, we're going to go back to circling, but I don't want you here anymore. I want you here. Well, we're not going to circle yet. Sorry, I shouldn't say that. And Because uh, I want you to practice your one, two, but getting off the line. And here's a really good way I practice this. I'm going to do this one for the camera. So. I'm going to be out of camera range for a minute. There's a great thing to do that if there's a mirror there, that I'm going to do this. I can't see me in the mirror. If I do this and I can't see me in the mirror, I didn't get off line. No, you can stay right there. I want to do this. If I can see me in the mirror, it means I know I got off line. So sometimes I'll do this. I'll say, you know, that bag over there. I line it up that I can't see that bag. 
Okay, well, I still can't see that bag. It means I didn't get offline. I want to step here, and I know I got offline. That my head got off the line, and my shoulder went into the line. So I've got power, meet geometry, I'm offensive by intent, defensive by design. It's just jab cross, but it's a really good jab cross. Right, now we don't have to bleep that out. Okay, give that a try. Be straight with this. Step off. Line it up. So I'm lining it up with Dan right now. Dan, can you see me? Nope. How about now? Nope. No? How about now? I can. That's what you want. Okay? That lets you know if you're off the line. No, so you guys both can't do that. Because here's the deal. If I go this way and you go that way, ready? Same time, ready, true, go. Go. You should be moving that way. We'll never see each other. Right. One has to stand still. Right, because you guys are both doing it. <laughs> okay? But you can pick a spot on the wall. Like downstairs, I have a piece of duct tape on the wall behind the bag. So I want people to say, you can't see the duct tape. And now when you punch, you can see the duct tape. Okay? Yeah. Yeah, so you got it. Now something I want you to be careful for is fishtailing. Here's what a fishtail is. Watch my back leg. People are going this way, so they tend to do this. That's taken away from your power. I want you to think like there's a rubber band between your legs. Foom, foom. Right? Foom, foom. Okay? Don't fishtail. There you go. Bringing back memories. Been a while since you trained. Yeah. Yeah. Me and Brian been working out. Good, good, good. Yeah. Yeah. We've been hitting some stuff. Cool. We had a nice couple private gyms. Garages. Okay, time. Feels pretty good. Yeah. No. <laughs> okay. Yep. Yeah. Okay. Feels good. So, guys, if I ask you a yes or no question, it's usually a pretty easy yes or no answer. Once in a while. <laughs> Once in a while, I'll throw in some trick questions. That wasn't one of them, right? When we were on the floor, and I had you guys do the sawtooth, we angled in and we went straight out. We angled in and we went straight out, OK? And then later, we went straight in and we angled out. So now, I want you to do angle in, straight out. Angle in, straight out. Give it a try. And we're. We're starting to get on a tip of some really good stuff here. Yeah. Angle in, straight out. So this is part of your stick and move, right? And because you're circling, you're making a miss in distance and alignment. Yeah. Good. So you're still fishtailing a little. You feel how your foot's... Yeah. I want it to be boom, boom. Sometimes, like if I want to get extra distance, I'll even put my foot here. I'll go, boom. I could be that close, I don't care. Okay. Yep. She just cut you off. <laughs> okay, feel pretty good? Okay, now. Now we're going to do the other side of the sawtooth. The shape of the sawtooth doesn't change. We have an angle here and a straight line. So we went this way and straight out. Now I want you to do this. Now you're going to go straight in and angle out. Okay? So when I, before I did this, I was going this way. One, two, stepping out. One, two, stepping out. Now you're going to do this. One, two, out this way. Okay? Some things are going to happen. We're going to fix it. Go ahead. Yeah, so you're going to your open side now. So now you're going straight in with the jab cross, but you're going out the other angle. And it doesn't feel good. We're going to fix it. Okay, time. One of the problems with that is um, you're not getting as much distance when you angle that way. It goes back to that meat geometry stuff. Steve, right? Can I use you for a minute, Steve? Yeah. 
So let's say you stand in here. So we talk about stick and move. Hands up. Yep, get a stance. So if I step in and hit him, uh, uh, and I step out, he can still hit me. Step in and hit me. Boom, boom. Okay, and he steps back. Well, I can still hit him. So you took too big, you did this. Just this step for now, right? I step in, bing, bing. He can step in and hit me, bing, bing. Right, and we're doing that. I can't get ahead of the game with that way. So one of the ways we're going to get ahead of the game is something I call being a four-legged boxer. So watch my back foot. How far can I step back, right? It's where I started. If I can go two feet forward, I can go two feet back. I'm going to cheat. One, two. I'm going to push myself away with that punch. So not only is it like a stiff arm that stops him, but it helps me step further away. He can't follow me, right? And the cool thing is, a lot of people think, well, if you got me, I got to get you back. And he, he's not going to have the distance, right? He's going he's gonna to fall short, and I'm going to be able to close that distance, right? So now on the bag, you can try this just straight first, right? Straight in, punch yourself away. Here's, a, here's one way I could tell if you got this right. If you, can, if you can step in and punch, punch yourself away. If you can step in and punch again, it's wrong. Watch. I can step in and punch. I can't punch him that far away now. Right? And I, but it's close. And I want him to think it's close. Right? He's like, well, if you can hit me, I can hit you back. Nah. -uh. Right? It's sweet. Because like I said, it gets people at that moment of fight where they're like, Right, they overextend themselves, they fall just short, and they think, I've almost got you, I've almost got you, I've almost got you. You don't almost got nothing, right? So just straight in and straight out. One, two, I'm, watch my back leg. It's while my leg's up in the air. And it should be enough distance that you have to reset yourself for the next one, two. Go ahead, four-legged boxer number one, go. Right, so jab. Right, so I jab, jab, and I jab myself out. Right, so you're not, you don't have a lot of reach, right? Yeah. Hands up. So come in, one, two. Yes, yeah, so step in, one, two. One, yep. Come, step in, one, two. Boom, boom, now punch yourself away. So not only does it stop me, even if it didn't stop me, you're yeah. too far away. Right. Okay, four-legged boxer number one, I'm making a miss in distance only. Yeah, just a straight line for now. Straight in and straight out. Okay, time. Feel pretty good? Okay, next one's even better. So I'm facing him. So that was straight in, straight out. Remember we talked about the small T and the capital T? Okay, if I'm over here, I want the small T. Ali's jab, you'd see Ali just running backwards. But you get this foot here. And he'd come right up on what doesn't look like I can hit you. But when I'm here, I can hit him. Because I'm here, one leg. By the way, Muhammad Ali did this in boxing. This is also long fist kung fu for people who don't think traditional martial arts work. Okay? And I'm a four-legged boxer. I'm going to use this like a squirrel. Uses his tail for balance. And I have the four-legged boxer thing. Can you hit me now? No way. Okay? So what I'm doing with this, come over here a little bit. Okay? I'm going to angle in, boom, boom and I'm going to angle out, OK? So not only do I have distance on him, I have alignment and the good meet geometry, right? I have the capital T, and I went away on that. Does that make sense to you? You seeing these lines and angles now? Why we call it? I steal the term meet geometry from a friend of mine, Rory Miller. Uh, find his books. They're, they're, they'll change your attitude towards self-defense, right? Um, I'm glad he wrote those, because then I don't have to waste time in, that in class. Go read it. Okay, so I'm coming in here at this angle. One, two. I'm going to put my shoulder in the center line. This is like your quarter spin. Look how far away I am. Right? Stick and move. Right? Why do you move? So we can't hit you back. This is how you do it. So now when you're on the bag, you're going to circle the bag with this. One, two. Punch yourself out. I usually have to reset myself. Right? One, two. Punch yourself out. So I angle in, and then I angle out. 
Go ahead. Four-legged boxer number two. We do this with kicks later too. Not today, but because today's a boxing thing. Yeah, because this is what you were kind of, you were feeling this already. Well, I thought that's what we were doing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Let the punch move you. Four-legged boxer. Hey, hold on for a second, because some of you guys are still stepping. So, uh, Matt, let me use you. Hold on, guys. Hold on. So, when I say you're a four-legged boxer, there's only two ways you can move. To or from resistance. In the beginning, that's the earth. I move to the earth or from the earth. I move to the earth, from the earth, back to the earth. Okay. Once you're touching somebody, you can salsa dance. No, you can, uh, you, can <laughs> you can use them to move, right? I can push myself away or pull, right? You know, we talk about moving people. Well, I can move me too, right? It's not one, two, it's not one, two, three, step. One, two, this is part of your step, okay? Feel your hands moving you. Uh, I got to tell you, one of the best ways uh, to learn this is uh, the Wing Chun dummy. The, the wooden... We have them downstairs, it has the arms. Because you have to move, and it's like, well, it's hard to take a footwork that big. Well, you're not. You're, you're pushing off of it. You're pulling onto it, right? It's helping you move. And uh, the Mook Jung helped me a lot with judo, you know? Because I'm trying to move people, and I'm like, well, why don't I pull me to them, right? Why don't I push me from them, right? Like that four-legged boxer thing helped me out a lot. But it's, it started for me with the Wing Chun stuff. And now I'm applying it to the, to the boxing. And then looking at other boxing, you know, I, I see some of that stuff. Like um, some great people, to st there's so many great boxers out there to study. But one of the guys who's changing the game right now is a guy named Lomachenko. You guys know who he is? If you don't, look him up. Yeah, uh, he's doing, so most boxers have a few tricks in their bag. He does every trick. And the problem with doing every trick is you can't get good at everything, but he did, <laughs> right? So, uh, but go ahead, try that. Feel that the punch is what's helping you move away. Same, same drill, yep. There's a four legged boxer thing happening in here, whether you realize it or not. When you're doing jab cross, look at the shock wave this does to me. See how it kind of pushes? It pushes me in line for that cross. We're going to go the other way now. One, two, right? And I, I don't want you to just drop step two. I want you to punch yourself out. But watch, I can't go one, two. This jab pulls me that way. Here's how we're going to throw our cross. One, cover. Right, so this is called the cross guard. If you've got, you know, I take this from karate first. I mean, Rory calls this the Dracula. I don't know if he invented that because there's some other guys who call, call it the Dracula too. If you guys have ever done Shotokan karate, this is in there, okay? One, cross two. See the angle of this? It helps me to push off this way now. Two. So you're going to go one, cross punch. See how covered I am? Right? This helps push you away. Two. Okay? One, cross punch. Two. Go ahead. Give it a try. You guys want to try that? Let's try this in the air first. Everybody face this way, because I'm getting a lot of googly-eyed looks. Face this way. So we're coming straight in. One. But now you're going to do this on your two. Cover. OK? Now this, remember boom, tap, boom? OK, this is your tap. Tap. Boom. Right? One. Cover punch. Tap. Boom. One, cover punch, tap, boom. Okay. I love this. I love this. People are punching in your face. They're breaking their hand off here. Plus, even if he punches me, right, I might do, it doesn't matter what punch he throws. That might be my block that I parried that. Right? He throws one, two. Maybe I didn't ping. Have fun. Because it might hit this. Right? Even if it doesn't hit that. Go ahead, punch. Like it might, it might skim off here. Go ahead. It might skim off there. I don't care. It's, I'm pretty well protected with this, okay? You can take punches off of here, okay? And uh, a lot of guys fought, if you don't think this works, uh, George Foreman did cross guard. 
Um, Archie Moore. Everybody know who Archie Moore is? Heaviest puncher in heavyweight boxing. Look him up. Um, Sugar Ray Robinson. There was a guy, Fulmer. Fought him three times. The third time he fought him, he fought him to a draw. Okay, Sugar Ray Robinson, pound per pound, is the best boxer that ever lived. You look at his record, no one will ever come close to that, okay? Because uh, people just can't fight that much anymore. But the guy who fought him from a draw <laughs> fought him in this, kept doing this cover position on him, okay? So one, cover punch. So let's say he covered up with these. Yep, cover up. Bing, bang. I move me and trap him. Look where I'm at. I'm at the small T. Bam. When we went this way, we were getting away in distance. I cannot get away in distance from there, right? One, if, if, if you have this line and it's this far and you go this way and it doesn't quite add, add up, plus I'm going into his longest punch, okay? So when I go this way, when I go towards his lead, I'm not trying to make him miss in distance. I'm trying to mess him up in alignment Right, that I'm the small T. I've got him outgunned. He could have me outranged, but I got that one trapped. Okay, boom. So, one, cover, tap, punch. Go, on the bag. Yep. So, cover on the two. Right, so your jab comes back like this. Boom. Yeah. And now I have this to fill in the gap and to help me move. Right? So I want you to feel it. Hands up. You can cover. Right? Cover up. Cover up so I don't hit you. Boom. 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 That moves me and you. Yeah. Yeah? yeah. Good. So on the two cover. Yeah. 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 Now help. Now let that. So you did this part right. But then you stayed here. Okay. One, two. This helps you move. That's your four-legged boxer. Bang. Come back in. Yeah. Sure. Yeah, same time. So, uh, guys, time out for a second. It is at the same time, okay? Uh, you want counterbalance. When you sprint, what do you do? You do this, okay? Something uh, that people laugh at in karate is, is hikate, right? And I want you to explain. So everybody put your feet together just to, to exaggerate this motion. Put your hands out here. Pump them. What's your head doing? You feel your head counterbalancing, right? Okay, now do this. Does your head go? No, right? So if I, do, if I was just here punching, I lost power, okay? If I'm here punching, I'm even. Sound good? Be greedier. I usually do a hikate a split second first. Hold your hand out. Do hikate without the punch. Where'd your body go? It jerked forward, right? That's actually helping me. Same thing, do this. Move your hand side to side. Feel your head going? Now do this, okay? So if I'm punching at him, boom, that helped me counterbalance. Boom, that helped me counterbalance. And it protected me. Another thing it helps you do is, I think, you're always punching with your good hand. Okay, people, how am I always punching when I'm only punching one hand? No, you're always punching with your good hand. So if you're left-handed, I'm punching with my good hand. If I'm punching with my right, I'm concentrating on the, the counterbalance. Because I'll have a good counterbalance, that other punch will speed up. Right? You're always punching with your good hand. This is not a mistake. Later on when we do head movement, so I want you to do this. Put your hands up here. And move your head side to side. Like somebody's punching at you. Right? Now have your hands up here. Somebody's punching at you. Use your hands. It helps you move your head faster, right? There's a picture of, uh, who's the, the oh, I can't think of his name. Uh, the, the boxer, he just, he just retired. He wins all, wins all this money. He's all about the money. Mayweather. Mayweather, okay? There's a picture of Mayweather over here. And I'll throw out your cross. And he's like this, right? And people are laughing. I'm like, oh, man, this guy gets so lucky. He fights with his hands down. You don't know what he's doing. I go, he's the most money-winning fighter ever. Shut up. Those hands are exactly where they're supposed to be. They're like, you don't know how to fight. You gotta put your hands up. Okay, when he's, when I, if I did this, go ahead, to help me move sideways, throw it again. And this to help me go sideways, where would I go to go back? Right, 
So it's a counterbalance. Likewise, if I want to go forward, boom, that helped me go forward. That was on this side, so it helped me move. It helped me get my shoulder into play. He throws punch, boom, that helped me do the other side. Right? You're always punching with your good hand in that counterbalance. Three, counter, three counters everyone needs to work on. Counterbalance, counterpressure, counterintuitive. Right? This was counterbalance. This was counter pressure. Remember we did it to him earlier? Counterintuitive, that's a whole nother thing. And if you come to one of my mentors who does Ike stuff, it just looks like you look at it, it's just, you know, it's so unnatural because you have to be like so relaxed. And, but sometimes, you know, counterintuitive is uh, go with what works, not with what you, because this is, this is what you want to do and you want to relax, mm -hmm. right? So that, that's one example, right? Is to relax in a fight, you know? How am I supposed to be relaxed in a fight? I'm scared out of my mind. I don't want to get hurt, you know? Okay, so go back. So we're back to this. One, cover punch, same time. Now you're using this, this back fist line jab to push yourself off to that corner. Cross. One, cover two, tap two. Okay? Go that way. Right, but this, see, this punch helps me go that way. This yeah. punch helps me go this way. Yeah. Right. Problem, yep. Good, you think you got it? Okay. Okay, time. So now with this one, it brings us to another problem of what's next. Because we didn't create enough distance, right? When I'm in here, and I go one, two, and I do this, that's the end of that cycle. It's a new combo. If I come in here and I go one, two, uh, boom. If he's not out, it's not the end of that combo. Okay? So now we have three things up on the board. I either go in, either stay in, get out, or go through. So you guys already know how to get out. One, cover two, tap, boom. So let's say he covers up for all these, right? He's covered, he's covered, he's covered. He's covered, you know, cover up. I'm like, oh shit, he's pretty. I'm gonna get out. So you already know one way to get out with your jab, right? So I'm gonna go one, two, bing, bing. No, so don't move, right? Bing, bing, bing. You're that good, you don't have to move for me, right? Cover up, boom, boom. So now, so it's the same combo we did. One, cover two, tap two. I might not be able, that might not have put him out. Because going this way doesn't get us out of range. This combo's not over. Three ways we end every combo. I get out. Bing, bing, bing. I stay in. Bing, bing, bing. Or I go through. Okay? And through would be, and I'm not going to throw them, but bing, bing, bing. Boom. I'm going to knock him down. And I love those bump throws, you know, right? That's my big Muay Thai, my big Muay Thai cheat. <laughs> okay? I've never had the bottomless gas tank. I smoked as a teen. I think I have that. You see that commercial for baby lung, the little lung guy? I think that's what I have, because I never had that bottomless gas tank. So I make the other guy waste his. But one of them is to take this, and I do this step through, right? And that might knock him back, but you, you see me do this to the kids all the time, right? Boom, right? And, and not for nothing, I take it from karate, OK? Hands up. This is lunge punch, whether I'm across his face or if I'm across this hand, I love the hands even better because this gives him more time. This actually takes up more space and he can't do nothing about it, right? And he's going down, so hands up. I might make that my first move sometimes. Just come in and check it. So people who say trapping doesn't work, come in, we'll do it. We'll throw on some gloves, I'll, I'll go with it. Because that, how hard is that? Hands up, high, 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 high. This is the different ways that we, either I check them here I'm double out, one in, one out, one in, one out, double in. Right? My last fight, I did this the whole first round. This is all I did. I just kept him against the ropes and did that. <laughs> so he, he, he ended up winning the fight. I gassed myself out, but the whole first round was pretty much all me. Right? Third round was pretty much all him. <laughs> and that round matters more. Right? One of the things I hate about point fighting karate, it's not about who hits who first. It's about who's hitting who last. Right? Okay. So try the getting out first. One, cover two, tap, 
boom, punch yourself out. Go ahead. Yeah. So even if you don't get it today, you get it enough that you can go home and practice it. Yeah? So I want you to do your two like this. So now bring this, now do your two. Yeah! Now use this, hold that out. So let's say, let's come back and you're fighting me a little bit. So punch at me, jab at me. Now throw your two and you're covered. Now I want you to use this to help you step that way. Oh, that way. Right. I can, now being close, being close. Now punch with that two. Two, boom. Now push yourself away. Right. Yeah. <laughs> That's one of those things. You go to the gym and you drill this. Drill it, drill it, drill it, drill it. Right now it feels awkward. You know? But you drill this and you'll get it. Okay, next one is we're gonna learn how to throw uh, the hook. Okay? And uh, I mean we do a, a hook master we do master classes on one punch. We got 33 different ways to throw a jab. 12 ways to throw a hook. There's only four ways to throw a cross, and I, I tend to say there's three because one of them's the same, right? So we, people go, how can we never do a master class on the cross? I go, because there's only three of them, okay? But here's the hooks we're going to do. Everybody face this way. You just threw your two. You are loaded for this side, okay? So some people will do this. I want you to do, so this is your hook punch right here, okay? I want you to do this, just, just you. Jab cross hook on the bag a couple times. One, two, three. Again. Feels bad, right? Here's why it feels bad. You got a straight arm, you got a straight arm. Why the hell would your bent arm reach? So you see everybody going jab, cross, hook, right? <laughs> okay. So the first two hooks I want you to have, one is defensive, one is offensive. One, two. If it was defensive and he was coming at me, I'd be here. See how my head's over my knee again? Right? And I'm off the line, the shoulder's in the line. This head's off the line. Am I ready to throw something? Yeah. Bet your ass I am. So if I'm doing the defensive one in the bag, I do this. I go one, miss the two. I wouldn't miss somebody on purpose, right? This is just for the drill. Three, right? So I got one, miss the two, three. The one I want you guys to do, we're going to charge him. We're going to do this. One, two. All your weights on this leg. Step up even. Wham. Right, so I'm going to go one, two, wham. Okay, look at my weight. Okay, all my weight's here. I'm free to step. I'm in that power position. Rip. Okay. Bang. Right, so you. So Jessica teaches a lot of this stuff in fitness kickboxing. We don't do a cardio kickboxing class. She teaches you guys. She does her two-minute technique every day and teaches you guys how to do this stuff. So now I'm doing this. One, two, three. See how I stepped up? This isn't going to hit. This will. One, two. Right now my feet are even, so let's say my toes on the line. Two, I'm even. Later on, we can chase and we can cross that line. Okay? So there's something on the board here called fleche, half fleche, reverse fleche. Fleche is a fencing term. And uh, I have a bad hip, so this isn't going to be a good fleche, right? But it's this front crossover. Ah, oh, boy. Yeah, my leg's not going to let me get that. But that's what it is, right? It's that front crossover. When I'm doing stuff, like I said, I don't want to be here. I kind of want to be square. Every time you threw your cross, you're square. Fah! Right? I got, I covered distance, and I went off a line. I got to the small T, and I'm loaded. Okay? So right, that's, that's crossing in front. Right now, you should only have to step even. So cover up. I'm going one, cover two, tap, boom, boom. If you're close enough to the guy, you know, if I ended up this close, all right, I don't need that. And that could be an uppercut, right? When people are covering like this, sometimes that fits right. But if you fuck it up, say bye-bye to your hand, right? But boom, OK? So the half fleche, I'm loaded, I, so I'm on the black blue line. I step up even. The fleche fleche is I'm going forward. 
Then later on, we'll learn a reverse fleche. So one, two. So one, cross two. Tap, boom, hook. OK? Get that hook in there. Boom. See how the hook feels bad? Yeah. So one, two, bing, bing, step with this. Bing. So I keep going that way, right? I want to be at this small T, OK? So I just went bing, 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 bing. Maybe he's following me. Well, I'm stepping that way some more, right? I would love to be, have this fight right about, no, you said, I would like that fight right about here. Because I'm a big chicken, but when I get here, my confidence just kind of goes up, right? I see the back of his head, and all of a sudden, I'm a tough guy, right? But don't fight fair. I'll flank the guy, OK? Go ahead. Yeah. Yep. So guys, I have, I have like a half dozen pictures of, uh, with Lomachenko where the guy's like this, and Lomachenko's here. The guy's eyeballs haven't even tracked him yet. I got six pictures. Guy's right here like, yeah, Lomachenko's there. Guy hasn't even done this yet. That's a movement, man, right? But we'll so one of the things he's doing with that is doing this, right? So he's, he fights in that other lead. So when I'm here, right, all of a sudden he's like, but he was right there. I felt him, right? And you couldn't, right? Things like that. All these little things add up. Go ahead. Yeah, so that one threw you off. Yeah, so you threw this. Ready? Come with me. Ready? We're going to do one. Cover two. Tap. Two. Now just this leg. For your hook. Yep. You're all right. And it comes this way. Right. So think about, so face me. Think about which way the power goes for my hook. I'm going to go whack. Right? You're just going whack with that shot. OK? Step into it. Yep, sorry. Getting it? OK, the last option is through. OK, so Matt. And uh, we can do this with a partner that I have a leg behind and a hand in front. I can do it the other way, too, leg behind, hand in front. These are the, my two bump throws. So when I'm here, bing, bing, cover up, right? Bing, bang, 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 bump, right? And I could throw him down. Throw him back, right? What we're going to do is this. He's going to put a lead out, and you're going to do this. Leg behind, hand in front. Come on out. Leg behind, hand in front. Leg behind, hand in front. And it's the same side. Left leg, left hand. Right leg, right hand. Left leg, left hand. Left leg, right hand, right? And then he can switch his feet, right? Same thing. Left and left. Right and right. Left and left. Right and right. Left and left. Right and right. And these are great. Like, I love judo. And uh, like this would be, in judo, this would be Osota Gari. This would be Kosota Gari. OK? You're sweeping the bottom out. OK? This is Gake. I'm knocking the top over. That's Kosota Gake. This would be Osoto Gake. The difference between Gake and Gari. OK? I like these. They're faster. One of the problems with that throw in judo I got to have that time. Hands up. I don't think I have that time. I could just run through them. And I showed this to some police officers years ago. And about a year later, one of the guys goes, dude, those bump throws are money. I'm like, yeah, I use them a lot. He goes, yeah. He goes, so you got some guy going, yeah, come on, cop. And before, hands up, he goes, I'm running up to the guy. And I'm like, and he, now you got to fight. He goes, now I run up to the guy. And I'm like, yeah, we're not doing that. <laughs> <laughs> I just run up to him and knock him down. Just check their hands, because what are they going to do? They're going to punch you. Yeah, no, we're not going to. You, know, you look like you're going to hit me with those. I'm just going to check those, knock you down. Right? And, you go, and it's, it's just so fast. And people aren't ready for it. Right? But you got to commit. You can't come out here and go. <laughs> OK? So try that with your partner. OK? One guy puts a leg out. Yeah. You're not going to throw them, but you're going to do. Put a, right, right, 
So yeah. It would be like bang. Bang. Yeah. And now switch your feet. And no, no, no. Yeah. You're gonna you're gonna keep put your knee behind his knee, and you, boom. Yeah. And you could be in front of his hands. You could be in his face. Later on, I want that to be crack. Oops. Right. We'll do a whole bunch of mean right, things man. later. So Ready? I'm gonna, gonna be your partner. Right foot. Yeah. Man. So yeah. Come. Yep. You're gonna go on me. Yeah. So put a leg behind. Come up on me. You're gonna do it to me. Put a leg behind. Behind. One leg behind me. Yep. Nope, nope. Don't hit me. Okay, just, we're, we're just sorry. doing a fit-ins, right? Sorry. So, oh, that's okay. I got a mic on and a bad leg. But uh, right there. Boom. Okay. Now, switch your legs and hands. Put your other leg back there. And put your hand in front. Okay? Switch. <laughs> yep. Good. Good. Easy, right? Yeah. Keep doing the same thing. Don't change a thing. Keep going. Leg behind, hand in front. Leg behind, hand in front. Leg behind, hand in front. Good. So Matt's going to be on this side. True's going to be on this side. Put a leg behind, hand in front, both of you. Yeah, go ahead. Because I'm just a dummy. Switch. Leg behind, hand in front. Leg behind, hand in front. Leg behind, hand in front. Keep, yeah, keep switching, keep switching. But see, one person could be partners for two people. Right, so if you have an odd person out, there's no odd person out. Two people are practicing. Okay? Does this make sense? Every time, hands up, any time I throw a two, I can follow through and do that. Right? Whether it was this one, two, boom. Right? And again, you can, oops. Right? Because you're not, you're not supposed to do that in boxing. Uh, accidents by design is a whole other topic. <laughs> boom. But that's the one I want you to get. I, was all I do this all the time in Muay Thai. Um, that we do this off the kick. I don't have to kick and put my leg down here. I push off of him. And now I'm over here for a leg kick or, or the throw. Right? So try that on the bag. So, this is, so we had out. We had one. Cover two. Tap two. Out. Then we had staying in. One. Cover two. Tap two. Three. Now we have Going through, one, cover two, tap, two, boom. You're going to have to miss the bag to do that. If not, it's going to look like this. Because you're a four-legged boxer sometimes whether you know it or not. Every time you hit, that shockwave comes back to you. One of the things you guys want to practice doing, and there's a, on, on any heavy bag, but specifically there's the tie bag downstairs, it's like the upside down L, is I, do, I have you do stuff like this. Right? You guys can do this on the, see how I'm pulling myself into the next shot? My jab can push me into my cross. Right? That pushes me into my hook. That pulls me into my cross. That, right? See how one punch pulls you into the next one? So right now I want you to miss that too. One, cover two, tap, two, through. Go ahead. Whoo, that's a lot. That's as far as our combinations are going today. Uh, so you're switched. Oh, yes. One. Yeah, so hand on this side, yeah. leg on this side. Right. You want that scissors effect. Oh. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Good stuff. Yeah. I love those bump throws. You guys will hear me say online sometimes, Facebook and stuff, that there's not enough football in martial arts. This is one of the things I talk about, that there's not enough football in martial arts. Just run through and knock people down, right? Because it works. Sometimes we used to call this the tank and the minefield. And uh, what I want you to be able to do is I want you to be able to chase people with power, and I want you to be able to retreat with power. That, that, that's a key thing. So like. Uh, not to brag, but our guys have done really well in competition. We beat people that we probably shouldn't have beat. When you look at who's got the same amount of time in, Matt's a great example, right? I mean, you're destroying people, knocked out everybody, and then got disqualified for knocking people out. Because what did they tell you? Knock them unconscious. Right, right. Well, they're like, you know, they're telling them stop swinging for the fences. It's not a street fight. It's a boxing match. 
right? Because they're getting pissed because somebody's coming out there and just, because everybody else is like, well, I'm going to stay in good form. And, and there's, there's a part for that form. I'm not knocking the form, but it's got to work. My guys work power first. Like if we're doing a class, there's lots of focus mitts involved. There's lots of heavy bags involved. You, when you connect, you got to do damage, right? It, it's, you don't fight for five minutes in the street and they go, okay, time's up. Okay, raise your hand who thinks Dan won. Okay, raise your hand who thinks George won. Yeah. It doesn't work that way, right? There's, there's a winner and a loser, okay? Um, so one of the problems with boxing is, you know, like, you got to be safe with your footwork. Meanwhile, the other guy can just dance backwards any way he wants, right? You get the people are just, you know, dan you see it all the time, right? One guy can dance away because he's retreating. You he don't have to worry. But you have to come forward kind of safely. We're going to go backwards and forwards very violently, okay? So uh, let's start at this end, and everybody can just kind of spread out, okay? And we're going to do the power forward and then the power back. So what I want you to do, we've already kind of, you've done a little bit of this, right? Throw your cross. You are now loaded to throw what? Your hook. So now I want you this. You're going to step, shift your weight for the hook. Now this leg is free. Step, cross, right? So I'm going, this is a, that half leche, half leche, hook. Boom, 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 boom. Boom, 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 boom. Yep, turn around and do it back. Yeah, it's all right. First day, you can mess it up. So, ready? So, throw your cross. Switch your feet. Throw your cross. Now, even up, throw your hook. Yep, now step and throw your cross. Step and throw your hook. Right, and see how you're shifting, shifting, shifting? Okay, and I want to show you guys how, how quick it is to learn this stuff. So Jan, I'm going to use you, because it's the first day you've done this, right? Yes. Okay. Because uh, one of the things I want to do with my instructional videos, one of the problems with instructional videos is there's nobody at home to fix your mistakes. Right, when I shot my first video, I had planned on bringing in one of my students, and we are just going to fly through it. And I ended up working with two guys who are martial arts guys, but they didn't know my material. But it worked out for the better because they made mistakes. And I got to fix those mistakes. Um, so I, when I do future videos, I want to have you know, maybe four or six people, maybe something like this. We'll, we'll see. But, um, but I want people that don't know the material. Like you and I can run through a clinch, boom. Right? But people at home are going to make mistakes. Okay. So lift foot forward. You're going to throw your cross. Okay? Hold it there. Shuffle hook. Yep. Cross. Hook. Cross. Hook. Cross. Is she chasing me with power? She is chasing me with power, right? It's literally that. So this is how you would do it with focus mitts, that you want the guy to chase you, boom, 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 right? So left foot forward, cross, hook, cross, hook. I'm going to mess with you. Keep going. Keep going. Keep going. Just keep doing the same thing. It's your first day doing it. How is she doing? Great. She's doing great. And I just went this way and that way, and she chased me with power, OK? Now we're going to go backwards with power, and then we have to fix it because there's a, you know how I show you things, and then you say, well, that's not so great, right? So, yeah, we can start facing this way if you want, but watch me. Here's what you're going to do. You're going to do this on your cross. I'm going to step back, but I'm going to go forward. Remember we talked about the penguin? Boom! Where did my foot go? Backwards. Where did my upper body go? What am I loaded for? Boom! So now I step back on the cross. I shuffle on the hook. See how my head is going side to side? That puts my head off the line, shoulder in a line. Head off the line, shoulder. And so I got good meat geometry, and I've got the power of the sway. So here's the deal. You can't get power going backwards, right? So I teeter-tottered. I cheated on the backwards. But how am I going to get power on the hook? Because I am going backwards. Which way does the hook go? Not backwards. Right? I can't get power on a forward punch. Right? I couldn't get power doing this, okay? but I can get power doing this because my punch went that way. Make sense? So I'm going teeter-totter on the cross, shuffle step on the hook. Look, another thing, with your hook, some detail, detail on the hook. You can punch this way, you can punch this way, I don't care. It goes all the way out to here. Don't do this. If this is your angle, this should be the angle of your punch. 
Okay, not only does this end up in the protection, it ends up with that cross guard, the Dracula, whatever, vampire, whatever you want to call this. But another thing, if we're in jujitsu, that's a shoulder lock, right? So that's the Americana. That's gonna, because he's a jujitsu guy, right? That would mess up your shoulder. You want a good structure here. Like I said, I don't care if it's this or this, right? There's a, a bare hand, I like this, because knuckles just find their ways between ribs. You want to know how to punch people? Pay attention to the puzzle. God told you where he wants you to punch and elbow people, okay? Because it just, it just fits, right? Elbows fit in eye sockets, so do knuckles. Knuckles fit in here, right? He might want you to hurt people. We don't, some people need it, right? She's looking like, God didn't want you to hit people. <laughs> so I counterbalance. I shuffle step for the hook. Counterbalance for the cross. Shuffle step for the hook. Go ahead. Yeah, yeah, Jay, you got it. You can step further on that hook because I, I want your head, <laughs> right? I want to be on this side. And you think, boom, 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 boom. boom. Okay, guys, think you got it? Ready, Jan? I'm going to use you again. You're so good the first time. <laughs> okay, so hands up. So she's going to counterbalance. She's going to step back when she throws that cross. Bing. Did she do it right? Shuffle step. Bing, keep going, bing, 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 bing. That's all right. Bing, 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 bing. So now if I was charging at her, she's leaving presence. That's why, so we call the forward, we used to call the forward one the tank, call this one the minefield. Because I'm retreating, but I'm just leaving bad presence for you. Okay, make sense? Okay. The problem with this, okay, so they say a lot of street fights end up on the ground. There's arguments over whether it's 80% or whatever like that. How do they end up on the ground? You know the biggest way they end up on the ground? <coughs> Somebody doesn't want to fight and they're going backwards and they trip. Right? They stumble or they trip over something, they hit something. So that's how they end up on the ground. Then there's um, forwarded down. And what they meant by that was either I had some type of forward pressure. Either it was a punch or a push, or, but I did some forward right? Forward pressure, and she went down. The other one is pulled down. Whether I throw her down, or I throw her down, and she doesn't want to go, so she holds on to me, because I'm the first thing there is, and she gets pulled down, okay? So, I don't want you to go backwards, backwards. We're going to do something called the C-step. And it's the letter C, and it's S-E-E. -E. And let me grab, uh, grab a couple pool noodles here to show you. Because uh, I took this from weapons, okay? And, uh... Where's the other one here? Took this from stick fighting. Want to be my stick fighting partner too? You get to have the pink one. Okay. okay, so back up. There's a move called the redondo where I'm just circling here and I'm leaving her a, a wall of, this could be wood, this could be a machete, right? It's called the redondo. Couple problems with this one. Oh, you do stick? No. A little bit? A little bit, yeah. Come on up though. Right. Sorry. That's this right. Okay. One of the targets he wants is my elbow. Hit my elbow. So you just, right, because my elbow's not moving, okay? But if he charges me, this is something that I would do, right? I would just leave a wall, like, come at me, okay? Problems with that, with the stick was, he can just take whack at my elbow, right? You just straight down at my elbow, because it's not moving. Wham, okay? And I can't see where I'm going. So I started doing the C step. When he comes at me, So a couple things are happening, a few things are happening here. One, my elbow's out of line. And my weapon comes into the line to attack in his hand, okay? But I can see, S-E-E, -E, where I'm going because I'm moving in the letter C. But there's something cool about this. And um, let's do, uh, have you come up here. You're just gonna stand right on this line. And uh, Matt, you're about to, where's Matt? You're only a little taller than me. Come over here for a second. So stand next to me. So I want you to look straight forward, and we're going to do this. We're going to, we've done this before. We're walking an arc, and you're going to stay looking straight forward and tell us when we leave your peripheral vision. Ready? So we're going to step together, step together, step together, step together, step together, step together. Now, we're, okay, we're out of sight. Come back up. Matt, put your chin down, look through your eyebrows. You're looking at us through your eyebrows. Go. Yeah, don't be too close to him. I 
So we got a little farther, right? So when you see the old samurai movies where the guy's surrounding goes, that's, your peripheral vision is here. Well, now it's here, okay? And when you take a lead, your peripheral vision is going to follow you if you do this, right? So when you're doing this step, I want you to step where you can see. Step where you can see. But see, I'm also getting off the line because I don't want him to run forward. If we have a race and he's running forward and I'm running backwards, who's going to win? He's going to run over me. So if he's on that train and he's running forward fast, boom, I, that's how I want to fight that bull. But see, I, I'm not going to trip over anything because I can see. I don't step this far. I can't see. I step that far. Right? And then I hide behind him so he can kill him. And not me. Okay. But uh, I want you to try that a little bit. That, uh, so come here, we were doing your punch. All right. So you're going to start with your cross. Come back with your hook. Keep going. So that's your straight line. Ready? So I want you to lead me. Pull me. Yeah, go off this way. There you go. Ready? Now go off the other way. Okay. And she's doing more of a circle, which is close, right? I want it to be distance and alignment. I don't want it to be a perfect circle. I want it to be an ever-increasing spiral, okay? So give that a try. Try not to run into each other, but you shouldn't because you should be able to see, right? So if you're running into people, you did it wrong, right? But have your boom, 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 right? Arc it around, arc it around, arc it around. Right? That should be your fletch aid going forward. Am I going forward or backwards with this? Do whatever I want. Right? This could be me going forward. Phoom! He could be coming at me. Phoom! Same thing. It's the same. So I, he come at me and I go, wham! My next shot keep coming. Pow! Right? These are just bombs, 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 right? All your weight's behind them. You weren't trying to punch me too hard, but there's power there because you have the jousting from moving with your stance. You're offensive by intent, defensive by design. Now, this feels powerful in the air. It feels even better when you, because, right, I'm, uh, and that pulls me, wham, right? You're always a four-legged boxer, whether you know it or not. You're either working it or it's working against you. Because you have that shock wave coming back. You know? Is it a bad thing? Could be, or you could use it. The penguin, is it a bad thing? Could be, but you could use it. Try the true fleche, and um, I don't know how much control you have with your partner, right? Because you see me do this to the kids all the time. But don't stand here. Stand square. Like you're going to sprint. <laughs> right? I mean, you can know that's coming. Yeah. Yeah. I don't care. <laughs> right? I mean, if, if he, he starts catching this, mm -hmm. well, the next time I go, I'll yeah. bring it down to his body. <laughs> or I go, hey, guess what's a straight punch now? <laughs> right? Because I can do this as a straight punch. I can do this as a hook. I can even do this as a back fist. <laughs> Right? And if it's, if it's anything goes, yeah. my shots are straight, straight, right? People laugh at karate. I worked at, worked at a nightclub um, in Boston for a while. And one night, I, you know, I karate chopped this guy in the neck, right? Because boom, he drops. And one of my coworkers goes, did you seriously just karate chop that guy? I'm like, dude, that was awesome. He just dropped and you're laughing at me. You should be like, where do I sign up? You just dropped that dude with a shot. I said, you're laughing. Dude, did you just seriously just karate chop that guy? You know, <laughs> hand up. <laughs> Thumb! That's a bad shot. Yeah. Ready? Thumb! That's a bad shot. Thumb! Right? That's, yeah. those are, yeah. right? Whether that's a slap or a chop or a punch, I want you to have, and you know I'm hurt. And I, I'm old. I, I was faster. Right? I feel like the, remember the Tin Man? <laughs> oil, oil, oil. But then there's that, uh, what's that country song? I'm not as good as I once was, but I'm a good once. I'm as good once as I ever was. Yeah. You got to have one of those in your pocket, right? Just something. And uh, because this is street, I'll give you another cheat. My favorite cheat. It was my first karate, my first karate lesson. Yeah. Spit in his face, kick him in the balls, left, right, left, right, as fast as you can. 
If I get in a fight today, that's what I'm going to do, only now my groin kick has good form, right? You know? And people will say, what, what's the best style? Let me kick you in the balls, the Japanese way, the Chinese way, the Filipino way, the Thai way. You tell me which one hurts more. <laughs> right? I mean, that's, that's the thing, right? I mean, because there's a lot of different things here. This reverse fleche, right, and even doing the fleche, that, I take that, like, right out of Choi Lee Foote does this stuff. Choi Lee Foote's a, uh, right? Another thing is uh, when you guys are doing this, you get one punch per rotation, right? When we did this, right, when I went boom, tap, boom, I got two shots on one rotation, right? I went boom. That's the same hip. I didn't just go um, 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 because sometimes it's worth just breaking the rhythm that it throws. You might not get a good shot on it, but not every shot has to be good. If it just jams his hand or just turns his face away, that turning the face away, we do that, you see me do that a lot in the kids with jujitsu. What do we call it? He's not worthy of witnessing the kung fu. That's what we tell, right? We say, you know, we're out here, right? Hands up, bing, bing. He's not worthy of witnessing the kung fu. Now this hit's gonna be better because he's what we call bubbled. Uh, he, you know what's gonna happen. <laughs> Can I tap you a little bit? Sure. So uh, just relax. Blow out all your air and tighten up your stomach, because this guy's a fit guy, he plays hockey and stuff. Blow, blow out all your air. Tighten up your stomach. <sighs> nice abs, ladies. You should maybe, okay. <laughs> okay, now, take a deep breath for me. Take a deep breath, hold it. Just a tap hurts, right? Because he's bubbled, he's stretched. So anytime you have somebody stretched, that uh, equator goes this way, prime meridian's this way, right? Anything along that prime meridian's gonna hurt more. Everything along this prime meridian's gonna, right? Because it's stretched. I don't care if he's doing a thousand sit-ups. Oh, just a tap, you feel, right? It just goes through. So when you have one of these, why risk breaking your, why do boxers wrap their hand and wear gloves? It's to protect their hand, not the other guy's face. Why risk punching this, breaking your hand in some loser's face when you can punch a nice, squishy neck? <laughs> right, okay? Another thing, when we start talking self-defense, like when I work with cops and military guys, we stay off of this a lot because of body fluids. Yeah. I don't know what he's got, right? So blood on the nose, cutting your hands on the teeth, turn your side away, mm. right? Hitting back here, this is a great spot to hit. This is a, you feel just that tap, you feel your eyeballs jiggle, right? This is the <coughs> closest thing you're gonna get. Like when I was learning martial arts, I thought I was gonna learn the Mr. Spock kind of thing, you know? <laughs> I didn't know, right? But you know, getting these, just that little jiggle, you, you feel those, right? Getting this to happen. If you're hitting the jaw, I don't hit straight on the jaw, right? The force would do this. I want to go down that line, right? Feel it? Yeah. I go down that line, if I'm hit, right? I want this to happen. I want it to look like bad Jenga for your face, okay? Not straight in like that, right? Because some people call this the button, but follow that line. Follow that line, right? It, it makes a difference the way they're. Right, makes your brain jiggle. So we talked about counter pressure in the body, right? I'll use Matt because he's already damaged, right? So we talked about this, this, this counter pressure, right? Same thing, if you hit in front of the ear, what's their body do? It's gonna twist, right? If you hit above the ear, what's their body do? It tilts. So the temple might be a good shot, but you're getting that double motions of the bobblehead. This, you hit this way, see how the head kinda there's that, it wraps around. You smack somebody, you see your bad guy doing this, because there's a ridge hand there, you got him. Okay, this is a good shot. This is a good shot. Okay, right, because you have the counter pressure, because the head moves, right? Okay, we got about a half an hour, and that's good, because I wanted, I thought this might end at noon, and I put it for 1230, just in case there's, there's questions, or we can do notes, or, whatever you want to do, right? You got a half an hour for some Q&A stuff. Like I said, this isn't, you learn this today and you, and you go do it in a fight. So you guys are talking about going to pick a fight next week. Train it, <laughs> train it for a week, right? But, uh, but, it's, but it's, like I was telling you, like today wouldn't be a good workout, but it's gonna be a mental, like, so now when you're on the bag, instead of just going bing, 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 how hard am I hitting? Okay, it's great. And my jousting, how's that shock wave coming back? Oh, can I use that for my cross? You know, am I stepping out? Did, did I get out of the way? Can I use that for my hook? Did I have to reach for my hook? Should I miss this and do my defensive hook? Should I do, do offensive hook? 
Can I be in that sprint? Right, boom, 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 am I off to the side? Am I at the big T, am I at the small T? Right, it, make, it makes a lot of difference. Good stuff, brain candy, brain full? She's like, Whoa. First, time. <laughs> first time. All right guys, like I said, we got a half an hour. Q&A, take notes, take pictures of the board, whatever you wanna do. Thanks for coming today. Thank you. Thank you.